In my last video, I discussed a healing peptide, which is very popular among bodybuilders and athletes, called BPC-157. Now, BPC-157 is not the only peptide that's used to promote healing. There's another popular one called TB-500, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Similarly to BP BPC-157, TB-500 is also a synthetic peptide, except this, unlike uh, BPC-157, BPC contains only 15 amino acids. It turns out TB-500 contains 43 amino acids, and it's a fragment of a protein known as thymosin beta-4. However, th TB-500 and thymosin beta-4 are basically the same substance as far as uh, biochemical activity goes. Uh, it, it's also the property of, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, TB500 also shares the property of BPC157 of promoting new blood vessel growth or angiogenesis, but it's more specific than BPC157 in helping to heal muscle injuries. So you can say that uh, BPC157 might be a little bit better for connective tissue, uh, internal organ uh, injuries, whereas TB500 uh, is better for muscle injuries, and the reason for that will become apparent in a minute. Uh, t uh, thymosin uh, beta-4 uh, uh, may ultimately contribute to the repair of human heart muscle damage by heart disease and heart attacks. And mice administration of thymosin B4 has been shown to stimulate formation of new heart muscle cells from the otherwise inactive precursor cells present in the outer lining of adult hearts to induce migration of these cells into heart muscle and to recruit new blood vessels within the muscle. So uh, TB500 could be very beneficial for cardiovascular function. TB500 has been used extensively for racehorses to prevent adhesions from forming, although it's not, it's not a prescription veterinary drug. It's an injectable peptide with limited human usage. TB500 is, very, is a very agile protein in the sense that it can travel through the bloodstream very rapidly, faster than most other proteins, and for this reason, it has a more of a systemic healing effect than BPC157. That's another difference between the two. And the reason it can travel so fast in the body is because it has a very low molecular weight and a, a unique molecular structure that is very versatile. TB500 has been shown to offer many of the same effects of growth hormone, such as increasing strength through muscle growth, improving endurance, speeding up the healing process for wounds, reducing acute and chronic pain or inflammation, increasing flexibility, and increasing flexibility, and some 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 people claim it even increases hair growth. I kind of have a little doubts about that last one, but that's what they say. A primary healing mechanism of TB500 is that it increases the activity of actin a major contractile muscle protein. Now you have uh, in the, uh, the two major muscle contract, uh, contractile proteins are actin and myosin. And it turns out that TB500 stimulates or increases the activity of actin. And, and that's one of the reasons why it's so beneficial for muscle problems. Activating actin leads to increased healing and cell growth. Users have also noted the added benefits of improved flexibility, reduced inflammation and tendons. Some say that, again, it regrows lost hair, and it, and it actually, some people say it darkens gray hair. Again, I think that's kind of anecdotal. I don't, I don't really buy that myself, but that's what they say. Emerging studies suggest that TB500 may, have, may be of use in treating ventricular hypertrophy or an enlarged heart. Uh, a problem with... Uh, well, anyone who works out regularly with weights or is involved in sports, they tend to get what they call athlete's heart, which is an involved, you see, the heart is a muscle. And just like other muscles, it grows when it's stimulated. In this case, when you're involved in exercise uh, uh, or sports, you get an enlargement of the pumping chamber of the heart. It's called the left ventricle. And it, and it turns out that, uh, it turns out that the, uh, uh, th this, you know, this, Enlargement of the large ventricle, just like when you train your bicep, the bicep grows. Well, the, the, the left ventricle enlarges to, to pump more blood out uh, because of, of the necessity to deliver more blood when you're involved in exercise or sports. So it's athlete's heart is not really a pathological condition. Uh, if you have an enlarged heart and you're not an athlete, you're not involved in exercise, that's different. That's pathological, and that, could, that can lead to congestive heart failure. 
but it doesn't happen in people that are uh, active. Although, uh, you know, I, I've come across some recent research that shows that uh, that that uh, uh, people who use steroids for many years, uh, it also tends to increase the size of the heart. Uh, they they combined with exercise they open themselves up if they don't continue to exercise or or you know when they get older they they do have a, a greater tendency to get congestive heart failure about forty percent of older people's people do have congestive heart failure and it's a major cause of death and and people with type two diabetes uh, in animals uh, TB five hundred uh, reduces joint inflammation. And it's used by athletes to greatly speed the healing process. TB500 is administered through intramuscular, that means needles into the muscle, or subcutaneous right under the skin, like insulin injections. The typical human dose, not confirmed by any human study, by the way, because just similar to uh, BPC-157, there's no human studies on TB500, nothing. It's all an experimental drug. You know, you're taking it at your own risk. There's no human evidence behind it whatsoever. But the, but that being said, the typical human dose is to inject 7.66 milligrams per week for six weeks. Another way you, you can do it is you can inject 4 to 10 milligrams twice a week. That can later be reduced to injecting it to only once a month. Once the, you know, once the injuries start to heal uh, for maintenance, you can cut it down to once a month. The main controversy about TB500 is whether it stimulates cancer. People with cancer often show higher levels of thymosin uh, in, their blood, in their bodies. Uh, however, uh, there are other studies that show that TB500 or thymosin beta-4 actually has an anti-cancer effect. Uh, it stimulates white blood cell production. So, you know, it's, it's kind of up in the air, but uh, seeing as how there's a lot of people that have used TB500, there's no document cases of anybody getting cancer from using TB500 or stimulating existing cancers, but it is an outside possibility, and I only mention it here for, for completion, you know, for just to complete the, uh, the thought, basically. Uh, the biggest side effects or the main side effects encountered when you're using TB500 are lethargy, a feeling or a feeling of tired, really extreme tiredness, and the other one is a kind of a head rush which uh, only lasts for a couple of minutes, you get like a head rush. You know, that's what the users of it report. TB500 has received far better reviews for its overall performance on muscle tissue when compared to BP157. As I said earlier, uh, TB500 seems to be more specific for muscle, whereas BP157 uh, might be a little bit better for connective tissue. Users say that TB500 is really great at helping to grow healthy muscle tissue, and it's more effective when it comes to facilitating faster recovery. It can also be said that BPC-157, BPC as I said, might be superior in promoting connective tissue healing, while TB500 is better for muscle injuries. While, BP7, while BPC-157 is legal to use in sports, TB500 is not. So if you, uh, if you get drug tested and they find TB, TB500, if it shows up in the drug scan, you will be uh, you'll be eliminated from the competition and maybe even suspended. Like and like BPC one fifty seven, there again no human studies to prove the efficacy of TB five hundred. Nothing. It is also available on the internet as an experimental drug and as a veterinary one. At that, a veterinary one at that. It's not even listed as a human drug. It's listed as a veterinary drug, which is nothing new to bodybuilders. They use stuff like they've been using a. Uh, a uh, what's it, Winstrol V, which is a veterinary form of Winstrol, and uh, they've used a uh, Parabol and they've used uh, a number of other drugs that uh, Trenbolone. These uh, mostly are considered veterinary drugs. Uh, m most of them have not been approved for human sense. So, you know, <laughs> in fact, that it's a veterinary drug is not going to hold off anybody using this stuff. So, uh, but I will add my personal feelings. What I said in the BPC 157. Holds true for TB500, which is, again, the key point, it's an experimental drug. It's not made by any legitimate drug company. None. None. The raw materials from TB500, like BPC157, they come from China, which has the worst record of quality control for food and pharmaceuticals of any country on the face of the earth. Uh, and uh, the only people that sell TB500 are various peptide sites 
you know, where they where they list it as experimental, but they'll sell it to you. I mean, you don't know who owns these companies. You don't know the quality control. Uh, you know, there's a lot of ifs, ands, and buts when you buy uh, stuff like this over the internet. And again, I'm not saying that every all the TB500 available is fake. But what I'm saying is, you know, you buy your ticket, you take your chances. You know, it, I haven't seen any analysis of, uh, of, of, of a TB500 purchased online. I'm not sure if it exists where, you know, where researchers analyze the TB500 from Internet sites to see if it was real. I have not seen that. But uh, I, I imagine from, again, anecdotal reports that have gotten back to me from people that have used TB500 is that it is a fairly remarkable substance. And it does greatly speed healing of various types of injury. And again, the the uh, the uh, general assessment is that it works a bit faster than BPC-157. It works very rapidly. So I would give the same admonition for DB, TB-500 that I gave for BPC-157, which is that if you don't notice any healing effects uh, within, and oh, oh, by the way, I should add, just like BPC-157, uh, TB500 is only an injectable drug. In other words, there's no oral form. If anyone tries to sell you an oral form, a TB500, walk away, don't buy it. It's not going to work. It's a synthetic peptide. If you take it orally, it's going to be broken down in the gut. It's going to have no activity. So it's only available as an, as an injection, at, and you use the doses. If you do want to try it, use the doses I mentioned earlier. Uh, and uh, like I say, if you don't feel any noticeable healing effects, I would say within two weeks of, uh, of using TB500, the odds are you've bought one that's either underdosed or completely fake. You know, so that's that's your way of knowing without having the uh, the substance actually analyzed. So that's about all I can say for TB500. Uh, not much to say. I, as I, you know, unfortunately, I I went to look for some human research for this video, found nothing, nothing. It's no human. The only thing the research they have on it. Uh, believe it or not, it is, is for horses, just horses. I mean, uh, they uh, like I say, it was a veterinary drug they have used in horses. That's the only research that exists. There's no human research at all. So that's about it for TB500. If you want to have the best information, most accurate information you'll ever find on nutrition, supplements which work and supplements which don't work, uh, ergogenic aids, hormonal therapy, anti-aging research you can use today, fat loss techniques that really work, women's health and fitness, uh, exercise science, uh, and various other topics. Subscribe today to my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. 40 to 50 pages every month. No ads, no BS, just pure evidence-based information that includes my 58 years of academic and empirical experience, which cannot be duplicated by anyone anywhere. That, that's involved in this type of uh, activity. Uh, so again, if you uh, subscribe, I will send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page, where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise, science, and medical topics, and general health. That's only for current subscribers of Applied Metabolics. I do have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics site, but it's strictly reserved for current subscribers of Applied Metabolics. I don't take unsolicited questions. However, you're welcome to, uh, you know, leave comments under these videos or suggestions for future videos. I don't always answer the comments, but if I have time, I will. But, uh, you know, it's not guaranteed that I'll answer comments left under the videos. Uh, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, you're welcome to leave it. Uh, and You know, we'll see what happens. I don't know. But, uh, again, I don't think you'll find a better source of information I put a lot of great stuff in my Applied Metabolics newsletter, including like little anecdotes about my days of training with Arnold and some of the greatest bodybuilders of the 70s and 80s. You know, again, this stuff can't be duplicated by anyone else because they just weren't there. I was there. I was learning stuff from a lot of these other guys that have digital newsletters or publications. I, I was learning stuff when they were not even born yet. So uh, I don't care how many degrees they have. They cannot match me when it comes to experience because, as they say, there's an old cliche, nothing beats experience. Yeah, sure, academic knowledge and knowledge of science makes a, bit, a difference, but if you don't have a lot of the experience to back it up, 
it just doesn't mean anything. You have to have actual experience to know what works and what doesn't work. And this is what I'm going to tell you in my Applied Metabolics newsletter. Again, www.appliedmetabolics.com. If you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter, adopt a dog. Thanks for listening.